Welcome back to our channel, today we're diving into the world of Slave Zero X, a game that masterfully encapsulates the essence of 90s era Dreamcast inspired graphics. Slave Zero X stands out with its unique run and slash gameplay, featuring tutorial pop ups as you play. The game is set against a backdrop of unique 2D sprites on a roasting animated 2D backdrop, enhanced by the lighting. It's all about combos, attacking, and dashing out of the way, with a combo counter to keep track of your progress. The game also features big boss encounters, in-game cutscenes, and character interactions. You can unlock and equip different palettes and shades, and earn coins from playing to buy upgrades and unlocks in the shop. The shop can appear on a level, at the end of a stage, and on the main menu. After each stage and wave-based encounter, the game provides a breakdown and rank, with your best rank shown on the chapter selection. There's a full stats screen and online leaderboards with filters, a training mode, and an awesome soundtrack featuring drum and bass, techno, and other loud genres. The combat has a Devil May Cry feel to it, boasting a wide array of attacks and combos, including EX moves that can happen once you have charged up the EX bar. The game looks and plays well, with fast loading times and a lot of replay value, including a new roguelike mode that unlocks after finishing the game. However, the game does have some issues. It can stop unexpectedly without any indicators or controls working, and it's never clear when the checkpoint slash respawn point has been triggered. The combat can get tedious as there are no good ground attacks on downed enemies, and you can't break out of grabs or recover quickly from throws. Boss fights are huge difficulty jumps, and the mouse cursor keeps appearing when using a controller. Overall, Slave Zero X remains a unique and engaging gaming experience. It's a game that beautifully captures the essence of 90s-era Dreamcast-inspired graphics and offers a lot of replay value. So, if you're a fan of the genre, this game is worth checking out. And even if you are not it is a great slashing time of a game and worthy of your attention. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content and visit our website for more detailed reviews and a unique quick-to-the-point review system.